Hello everyone, good morning. So, first of all, my name is Novin Dinaben. I am from class 8, English department of Nusa Chindana University. Well, today I am going to explain to you about what hortatory explanation text is. Well, as you see on the screen, the hortatory text is a type of text containing an argumentation which may lead readers to do something. This type of text generally provides logical reasoning of why readers should do something. To support their argumentation, writers or the authors may present facts, research, findings, and also theories. This type of text is also called an argumentative text which can be found in scientific books, journals, magazines, articles of newspapers, lectures, reports of study, and so on and so forth. So, uh, we can say that portatory exp exposition text can be defined as a type of persuasive English text. Typically, this type of text is used to explain to explain to the readers about something that can or cannot uh, be done. So this type of text, as I have been uh, explained it to you about it, that uh, this kind of text must be written in formal form and it must be written based on facts or research findings. So uh, generally, this kind of uh, text is proposed to force the readers to agree or even follow up the instructions of the writers or uh... and second of all I'm going to explain to you about the generic structure of portatory text so most uh, generally there are three types of this kind of text so there they are as follows uh, the very first uh, stage of this kind of text is called thesis. So thesis is the first part in writing this type of text. The author or the writer can express opinions or uh, that are relevant and based on facts about the issue or them that they want to write about, as you see on the screen. And uh, the second one is argumentative. So in order to strengthen the opinion of the writer, uh, other opinions or arguments are also needed to prove that the opinion of the author is accordance in the facts. In this section, the writer can include recommendations, opinion from other people, or trusted sources to support the opinions that have been written at the beginning of this kind of text. And the very last part in, uh, of the generic structure of this uh, hortatory text is called a uh, recommendation. So as it has explained it in the screen, and uh, this last part of paper contains recommendations for its reader. So recommendations can contain suggestions of what to do or what not to do based on the arguments or the opinions that have been given by the writer in the previous stage that I have uh, demonstrated before. And the third one of this kind of text is called language futures. This is kind of uh, the very uh, uh, the very specific and important section because uh, out of uh, out of this the text can be uh, meaningless for the readers. So, uh, as it has explained in the screen that there are eight parts of these language features of this kind of text. So, uh, to identify or to write a type of auditory exposition text, there are characteristics that can be learned. First, the, the first of all is called have writing that focuses on uh, the author, as it has explained in the very first part, in the very first part on the screen, and the second one, using abstract 
nouns such as culture, uh, policy, advantage, and so on and so forth. And the third one, the writer, the, the writing always uses action verbs. Action verbs can be uh, value, ask, tell, agree, and so on and so forth. And the next one, uh, thinking verbs is, are also needed. So always used in hortatory exp exposition writing, thinking verb is a verb related to thinking activities. Uh, for example, think, worry, wonder, and so on and so forth. And the next one is called temporal connective. This is also needed because this is used in writing with this kind of text. Temporal connective is uh, the phase the that relates to time, for example, uh, firstly, secondly, and others. And the next one, the writer has used evaluative words in the writing. In this section can be adjective evaluative words. Effective, successful, clear, skillful, convincing, engaging. That's uh, the example of uh, this kind of quote. So, adverb evaluative words can be effectively, as I've been mentioning before, and also uh, the example of uh, evaluative words such as confess, suggest, emphasis, demonstrate, illustrate, explain, make it clear. And uh, then this, the next one is uh, sentences are written using passive uh, sentences. Well, then the next one is uh, sentences are written using passive sentences because uh, they have a first point of view, namely the author or the writer. And the very last section of this part is that the grammar used is simple present tense, which means that they have to use verb one in uh, every single writing in the paper. So uh, we've come to the end. So uh, I'm providing such an uh, ex uh, example about this kind of text. So uh, the title of uh, the example that I've been provided is uh, the importance of uh, reading. So in this example, it includes uh, thesis, argument, and also recommendations. So I think there are uh, at least uh, four uh, argumentations so it is very clear so uh, thank you so much for uh, joining my class thank you so much for paying attention and I'll see you in the next coming week see you